in this episode of Plant Life with Ashley Anita. Today is a plant shopping video at big box shops, Lowe's and Home Depot, plus a little special announcement. Oh, it looks like they have some good stuff. Ooh. I can't believe how many house plants they have here today. Now I am at Home Depot. Wow, look at this one. Ooh, they even have some plants indoors. I am now at Lowe's. I spotted some more plants. We got a few more, I'm excited. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is a plant shopping video at big box shops, Lowe's and Home Depot, plus a little special announcement. I am in fact moving. Yes, I'm going to be staying in Charlotte. We've been looking to move for a very long time. When I say very long, I mean years. My husband works from home more. He needs an office space. And I wanted to be a little bit closer to my parents. You know, there's a lot of reasons we'd like to move. So we finally found a place. I couldn't be more excited. I'm so incredibly grateful. Where I live, it's hard to find somewhere. I have to say we are in the thick of it right now and it is like what busy is an understatement like I am trying to film content as I go and all sorts of crazy stuff is happening with my plants it's just oh my gosh I'll be putting out a video um, sharing about my move how it's going fortunately there are a lot of other plant youtubers that have moved recently so I've been watching their videos to pick up some tips on what to do because it's hard to move with like 150 plus house plants um, a lot of them are big too you know my plants have grown a lot this year it's definitely an adventure and a journey and I'm you know I'm looking forward to sharing that video with you guys when I put it out but for now we are going to do some plant shopping while I'm here I might as well look at some plants right oh and if you don't know me welcome my name is Ashley and and if you like houseplants, this channel is for you. We do only houseplant stuff. So we do plant shopping, plant tours, plant hauls, you name it. I also have an Instagram account. Exciting stuff coming up on there. If you like giveaways, hint, hint. All right, loves, let's go do some plant shopping. So whether you're at home doing some chores or watching plant shopping videos to relax before bed, I hope you guys enjoy this relaxing big box plant shopping with me. Uh, thanks for tagging along. I hope you guys enjoy. So I was walking inside where they have their house plants, but look what I just spotted out here in this planter. It's the first time I've ever seen a Raphidorpha tetrasperma in, in a pot like this. This is 39 and it has a golden pothos, um, Dracaena here. And isn't that wild? It has some nice new growth happening. So just thought that was interesting. And I've never seen one of these at Lowe's before. A tetrasperm at Lowe's? That's wild. Alrighty, looks like we do have a few house plants. Cool. I'm just going to go over here. I always like to go see the hanging baskets first. I don't know about you guys. Oh, it looks like they have some good stuff. Ooh, look. Wow, which one is this? Alright, so we have a dog tail cactus here really nice these are 10.98 oh a beautiful orchid cactus look guys 10.98 for that this one has like a nice long trail happening absolutely stunning those are good finds for lows they have some nice sized golden pothos and these are only eight dollars Really pretty. Like look at the size of these leaves. Like they're quite large. Here we have some crotons. Just such stunning colors on those leaves. I I love to look at them. I mean, I don't own one, but I always appreciate how beautiful their foliage is. Really cute syngonium going on here. Nice new growth coming out through there. These are about $4. Some really beautiful variegated ivy happening there. Waffle plant. Petonia back there. Look, 
Here they have one, a tetrasperma just by itself. I've never seen one at a Lowe's here in Charlotte. Looks like it's part of the exclusive collection, $22.98. Pretty alocasia poly. Cute little Christmas air plants, oh my gosh. Look at these little guys. Over on this side, got some different stuff. Some Jacina back here. Cute little Peperomia obtusifolia. Pia tree ivy, interesting. Philodendron Brazil. Look at that little stripe. So pretty. And I know Philodendron Brazil may be old news to some people, but I cannot express how great they are. Like easiest, easiest plants. Just like a pothos. Aw, cute little ferns. What kind are you? Green fantasy, ooh. What are these ones called again? Dragon's Tongue. All right. Oh, this looks like a neat fern. What is this one? Oh, Francis Ivy. Is that Ivy? I guess so. So incredibly pink, beautiful. These are all $4, by the way. Up here we have some more pothos for 15. Atratoscantia burgundy. Pretty. Not sure what these are. But I see them around pretty often. They are 15. They still have so many more plants too. They have these bromeliads, these golden goddess, some gorgeous ponytail palms over here for 10.98. Up here we have some really cute anthurium. These rubber tree are $14.98. Cute little fiddle for $19. It's a nice size for $20. And here we have some larger size fiddles. These are $100. Some Majesty Palm, some pretty fern here for 15. Large size for 15. Some Cordyline. Gorgeous bromeliad, look at that color. Some little ZZs for, you can't see the price. Oh, for $10. Aglionema. different varieties. Ooh, look at these ones back here. <gasps> so beautiful. Look at the color of these leaves. <gasps> oh my gosh. Stunning. That pink is just so incredibly vibrant.
This mask cane is huge and it's only $60. To get a plant that's like, I don't know, six foot tall for $60, it's, it's not bad. Wow, look at this one. I know this is a, okay, Polynesian Ivy. Pelionia, I'll put it here so you guys can see. But look at these leaves. This is the nicest one of these I've ever seen in person. They're usually kind of scraggly looking, to be honest. This one's only, it's $15 for this absolutely massive basket. And I want to show you what the leaves look like. I'm just taking a quick, a <laughs> quick, oh my gosh, can't speak. I'm just taking a quick peek at their like succulents and cacti and I noticed this one. How beautiful is that? I mean, that one leaf is struggling, but I love the red. I wonder what kind it is. It doesn't say. All right guys, so Lowe's had an absolutely incredible stuff. Always, always impressed with what they have at that location. Now I am at Home Depot and I've been looking for mums, side note, from houseplants. I've been looking for mums for my um, porch and I got some from Lowe's and their selection was kind of meh. But look, look at all these that they have here. They're just everywhere here at Home Depot. So if you're looking for mums, I'd say this is the place to get them. All right, let's go inside and do some plant shopping. All right, so they usually have them indoors and outdoors here, and I see quite a few already. Um, first of all, look at these. Are these cherries? Winter, winter green. It's kind of different. I know those aren't house plants, but I um, just thought they were kind of interesting. So as you can see up here in hanging baskets, they have golden pothos for $15, absolutely beautiful. There are some really large size Syngonium mixed in with that. It's a really beautiful marble queen pothos here. Like, look at that leaf. A lot of heart leaf philodendrons. They even have pitcher plants. I have to say, I'm so impressed with what they have in stock lately. It's incredible. These are $18. These Sansevieria, which are large size, are $17. These spider plants are $10. They even have some plants indoors, which was what I was hoping for. Let's see what we have going on. Ooh, some monsteras over there. Up here, there are heartleaf, philodendron, and some beautiful golden pothos. Lots of dracaena. Here we have some cutie peace lilies. These are $15. Cheerful crotons. Orange sherbet looking Kalanchoes. Look at that color. Amazing. Here we have aglionemas. Dracaena. I love the way that these look, how they're, they have a little curl to them. 
I always thought that was so interesting. I've been seeing some really nice African violets lately in the big box shops. I'm not sure if they're in season right now or not, but uh, it looks like they're getting some nice ones. Some really beautiful orchids. Looks like some of them have been dyed, but some haven't. This one's really pretty. I also really like this one. Isn't that beautiful? little polka dot plant like just some random ones throughout here we have some bromeliads can't believe how many house plants they have here today anthurium not sure what this one is let me check here we have Philodendron Hope for $8. I love the way these leaves look. We have some palm. These are kind of different. It only has like the two leaves. Maybe that becomes more over time. It's called an areca palm. Some of these gorgeous philodendrons. They are $10. Beautiful. I always stop to admire these leaves. Stunning. In a way, they kind of remind me of the Pictum tricolors, the Aglionemas. Um, I know it's not at all the same thing, but to me, I can kind of, like it reminds me of it a little bit, doesn't it? With the way the colors are on those leaves. Kind of camouflage looking. Here we have some Monstera. Now these large size ones are $20, which is, I find a good price for the Charlotte area. Some ZZs, these are 32. Some gorgeous Sansevieria. Look at this beauty hiding back here. Absolutely beautiful philodendron. I cannot see the price, but that looks like the newest leaf, absolutely massive. And then all up here, it looks like it's mostly syngonium. Stunning. I spotted some more plants. So, oh, we got a few more, I'm excited. All right, let's see what we have. We have a bunch more African violets. Then over here we have lots of succulents and cacti. We got some really hairy little guys. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Look at this fuzz. I can't even. So cute. These are all $5. There's a bunch of the fuzzy ones. The old man cacti. Wow, look at those blue ones back there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Isn't that one pretty? Wow, it's so blue. Stunning. Lots of healthy looking succulents. And then some of the really like large size succulents. Gorgeous. So I spotted a good one back here. Like, that's a nice find. Look at this little baby. It has three in there. I forget the name of this, but I do own one. And they're awesome. This one's only... Hmm. These are all $6. It comes with three of those. So cute. 
They have a really nice assortment of cacti, I have to say. Like, look at how many thumbnail ones you get. Like, aren't those cute? And these flower like crazy, these, um, not thumbnail, thimble. Thimble cactus, cute. And then down here, I discovered a variegated jade. I just wanna show you guys what I'm talking about here. You see that? Look how pink it is. It's definitely got some variegation going on. Very cool. $6. Some variegated Apuntia. Lowe's and Home Depot always have some good cacti. All right, so Home Depot had tons of great stuff. I am now at Lowe's and it looks like they do have some good house plants. First thing I'm gonna mention right off the bat, look at these gorgeous Rex begonias. Oh, I have to bring one down so I can show you guys how stunning these are. Look at this full basket of these Rex begonias for $15.98. Absolutely gobsmacked. Look how beautiful those are. Let's see what we have going on here. Purple waffle. Dracaena, Falsarelia, some more of the, well, these are a different type of uh, Rex Begonia there. Super pretty, some Crotons, Rosy Maiden Hair Fern, stunning. Looks like there's some other fern mixed in there as well. more little Rex begonias down there. Here we have some Fetonias. So pink and pretty. Have a little Peperomia here. So cute. This is a variegated teardrop Peperomia. Isn't it cute? It's like a minty green color. Really adorable. Some more of these like very healthy golden pothos with some nice variegation. These Diffenbachia are $7.98 and these pothos on these totems or moss poles are $11.98. Really healthy and beautiful. Some very large size alocasia poly. And they're 12. Some really beautiful African violets. Vermiliads, aglionema down there. So I got lucky today and Lowe's and Home Depot were packed with houseplants. Uh, I had been by not long ago and they didn't seem to have much so I was really excited that they had some today. I always love to hear what stuff you guys would have chosen if you would have been plant shopping with me today. I didn't pick anything out for myself, I was there for <laughs> not plants. So lots of exciting videos coming up that I cannot wait to share with you. There's awesome stuff going on in the houseplant scene here in Charlotte that I can't wait to talk to you guys about. Also, uh, you know, also with my move. <laughs> There is a lot to share about my plants and how it's going with you guys. So if you wanna see more houseplant videos, please subscribe so it'll pop up in your newsfeed and you can see when I upload videos, which is usually once or twice a week. Also, like I mentioned, hint, hint with giveaways and stuff, you might wanna follow my Instagram if you like that kind of thing. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye.